Hello everybody, welcome back to my show. For this video, I'm going to show you how to get our data from actual life to view in our bookmark fragment. Okay, so we're going to deal with this, this list. Okay, so now let's do it together. Let's go to our Android studio and I'm going to find a main activity. So now I'm going to find an, a new instance of this bookmark. So let's go to on create and it should be here. Okay, so now I will make something change on this line of code. So before we start, let's go to our bookmark fragment. Okay, so now I need a method that I'm going to declare with public static that method that I'm going to return with a bookmark fragment I'm going to call it get bookmark fragment oh sorry I should call it get new instant okay so with this method I'm going to open a parameter that is a db helper and I'm call it db helper so now I need a global driver that I put is as private and it is a DB helper that I'm going to call it um, DB helper okay so now what I'm going to do with this helper so now let's go back to our method so now I just declare a bookmark fragment I'm going to call it fragment then I create a new instance of it that's new bookmark fragment so now I just call my fragment that I point to um, DB helper and I assign its value by put DB helper. Okay, so now I got my DB helper and I just return an, a new fragment that I just created here. Okay, so now I got an a new instant method with my db helper so now i'm going to deal with that db helper so i'm going to on create oh sorry on view created and i'm going to find my bookmark adapter that is a custom adapter that i use it with my static result so now i don't need this static resource anymore so just remove it so I got an error so now what should I do with this so I just call to my um, DB helper and I'm going to call to get all word from bookmark so for this method I need a parameter actually we just get an all word from from bookmark so now we don't need any parameter so just make something change then I'm going to remove this parameter and I got an error in this thing here so now I just remove it and use null instead okay so now it's fine let's go back to our bookmark fragment so I got an still got an error that is should we put on on array of string so now let's make something change with our custom bookmark adapter okay so now I don't need this array of string but I use array list of string instead okay so now I see got error for this line so just remove it and use source instead okay perfect so now let's go back to our bookmark fragment so now it's fine okay so let's go back to our main activity that we are going to do we use this thing with a bookmark fragment that I'm going to call new instant that I put my DB helper okay so now let's see something change okay so now it's calm so now let's navigate to our bookmark okay I got a word with with a mode. Okay, so now let's go back to our dictionary list. So I just make a mark some word. So I mark this one and mark this one. 
Okay, so now let's navigate to our bookmark. Okay, I got three words. So now I just go to detail. Okay, so now I just to remove it. Okay, now let's back to our bookmark fragment. Yes, it's also clear. Okay, so now let's back. Okay, it's also clear it's here. You see? So now let's me try other word. Letter A. I'm going to remove bookmark. So now let's back. Back. Okay. Back and go to find on A. Okay, it's also remote. Yes, that's it for this video. So now I should say thank you for watching. See you on next video that I'm going to deal with delete and clear button on bookmark fragment. Thank you for watching. See you on next video. Bye bye.